Hi, everybody. Hey, Mr. Forrest here. Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be just a brief uh, video on uh, chapter four. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, here we go. It's your ebook. Okay. So chapter four is basically um, um, very similar to the chapters you had in Windows about word processors. And, you know, I don't think we need to spend a whole lot of time, you know, hearing me, you guys did a whole lot of time hearing me lecturing about, you know, what a word processor is. You know, the basic elements of this particular chapter is creating and editing text files. Um, you know, there's a text editor in here and stuff. Uh, things like uh, OpenOffice or LibreOffice uh, are usually packaged in with uh, most uh, Linux distributions today. Uh, things like KWrite or uh, Get It, Get It is that down here, okay, you know, kind of gives you an, an idea of how a text editor would, would feel. I, I think, but I think the probably the most popular one is the Vim editor. So I'm gonna scroll down here because Vim feels a little bit more like Notepad and, and that's pretty much what it is. It's not meant to compete with Microsoft Word, much like Notepad was not, I'm sorry, um, uh, Vim is very similar to Notepad. So just like Notepad is not trying to compete with Microsoft Word, neither is Vim trying to clean you know, compete with like Libre Writer or something like that. Okay. You know, so you're going to basically talking about a text file and stuff and then, you know, various commands to, you know, put stuff in, move things around, copy and paste, things like that. Uh, they even have some ex um, insert modes and extended modes and stuff that are here, um, you know, that allows you to, uh, you know, get the, again, the comfortable feeling about how you move things around in a word processor. You know, obviously it's in a preparation for the idea of writing um, kind of like small batch files. Okay, so, you know, inserting text, deleting text, copying and pasting text, things like that, undo, you know, all sorts of stuff. And then again, some of these extended uh, mode commands and stuff that are used with the colon prompt, whatever, um, you know, there's, there's, yeah, there's probably a handful of those on the, uh, on the midterm next week. Okay, but all in all, if I come down here to the summary, let's see, here we go. There we go. You know, it, again, it's 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 really just a simple environment for you to review. Again, I don't think you need a lot of explanation from me about what a word processor is, but just, you know, give it the once over, make sure you're comfortable, make sure you get your homework all squared away. Both at the end of the chapter, do make sure you go through and do those questions, even though they're not assigned homework, okay, they will help you prep for the for the midterm. Okay, um, as well as the group study guide homework. Okay, so you know, make sure you got to go through both of those, uh, and so this way you're prepared for all the chapters for next week's midterm. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Let me let me also now uh, stop share and oops, so hold on. I want to share my other screen, uh, which is um, it's going to be here. There we go, and then I want to. Uh, uh, go to our um, course outline. Okay, so here's our course outline or whatever. And if we scroll down here towards the bottom of this, kind of see where we're at, right? So this is week 13. We're getting to the last part of this course, whatever. So chapter four, uh, that's due uh, this uh, by this Saturday from your group. And then next week is your exam week on the midterm, 150 questions, typically, you know, multiple choice, whatever, um, from uh, chapters 14, one, two, three, and four. And then we have, you know, chapter 15, we got two chapters. Uh, I'm sorry, week 15, week 16, we got one, week 17, we got another. And then we have our week 18 finals week here. And it's actually done by Tuesday of finals week or whatever, but it's a comprehensive final, much like the windows was a comprehensive. So it'll incorporate a lot of the questions from the midterm will also be in the Linux file. I kind of change up a few of the questions just to make sure everybody can kind of stay honest that you just memorize every answer. Okay. So anyway, I hope this kind of helps. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and you guys have a great day.